Hello, I wanted to uh, take a few minutes to um, review uh, Zoho Rider since we are using um, using this tool from Zoho to collaborate on these proposals. Uh, the first issue that comes up always, of course, is accounts. And um, of course, I asked each of you to use your full cell account when you are signing up for uh, your Zoho account. And, and that's great. So if you use that email, then your team leader needs to email you the invite to the document using that full cell email. Um, if there were any problems or anything, Zoho Writer uh, allows you to uh, use your um, Google sign in or your Yahoo ID sign in if you have a Google account or a Yahoo ID. However, if you do that, make sure that you tell your team leader so they, so if this becomes your primary email, that you're signing into Zoho with, your team leader will then need to email you the invite to documents to that email. So to, re to actually be able to collaborate on a document, it needs to be the email address information that you are signing into Zoho with. So make sure the team leader has that. Um, unfortunately, I started using Google to sign in before class started, and so I'm, I'm staying with that. And um, so what I do is I click on my Google, and it then will send me in. And as you notice, probably um, right away, this entire interface is much like a word processor like Microsoft Word. And so most of the features that you're going to see using Zoho Writer are actually probably very familiar to you uh, already. For example, if you click on the format tab uh, you'll have you know cutting and pasting and um, font changes and bolding and um, font colors and um, if you click on the uh, insert tab you have things like um, you know inserting a table uh, inserting a table of contents inserting HTML uh, most of these we will not use in this course what I'll be using to give you feedback though is the add comment and um, what, what I'll do, for example, I have three teams right now, the Mohawks, the Pueblos, and the Kiowas, who have shared their proposal with me. So I've come in as an editor. You'll notice that Richard is on the document right now. And it's showing that So we are actually working on this document together in real time right now. And in fact, I could even click this little bubble down here, and it would open up a text chat and um, I could say hello to Richard but I won't because he's probably looking at the document and wondering what I'm doing in here too so I'm gonna close that so now since they've invited me in as a collaborator to this document I now can edit this document so if I wanted to uh, unbold that I could go to format and then unbold that so you can make any number of changes uh, and everybody has, uh, everybody will have editing privileges. Um, the comment feature that I'll use is this little, if I, you click on the insert tab and go over this little bubble, you can put comments in. For example, um, let's say I want to make a comment about um, the title or whatever. Um, I could say, okay, look at the title. and I put that right there so now if you double click on that bubble you could see the comment I made a comment earlier when Richard brought me in actually you can single click looks like had to refresh on it but you'll notice over here on the left uh, window pane here that you'll have access to your docs and in this case all I have right now is the welcome letter from Zoho which kind of covers the basics of the, uh, the the interface and the tool and I also have a shared docs which is showing me who's which is showing me basically um, I'll be managing 10 different proposals one for each team you'll only have one shared document in here which is your teams so when, once you click on that shared doc, 
when you come in then you'll have editing abilities so let's look at some more of the features of this um, so we looked at insert review lets you do spell checks uh, find and replace words just like in word has a, th a thesaurus and what's really important is you have a history file that way you can see really who's collaborating with you and who's not so you can take a look at the history and that's really uh, great when you're working in teams to see who's really helping and who's not so you can go back to editor and um, this is what's really important about tools like this is the ability to share notice I can't share this all these are grayed out because uh, I did not start this this is um, this is Thomas's and so he started this now if I went to my doc which I really don't have anything yet just the welcome letter I could share this welcome letter by going share or just click there click share here either way and do you want to share it by letting them see it only or do you want to share it by letting them also edit so if you want to let somebody edit make sure you put email addresses in separated by commas to the read write and then click edit invitation email and you can customize the message that's going out instead of hi user you could say hi you know sue and put your message and then click share and that's it it'll send an email to them and then they can come in and collaborate with you if you gave them read write um, privileges your views let you change page views like normal and page view or uh, a print view uh, this is actually a very powerful platform for being completely web based this um, this particular product was created on the Ajax uh, frame and it's a uh, it's highly interactive very powerful then you have here a page setup button and you can put in things like page layout page format you can even put headers and footers in so very powerful but I think that will be enough to um, get everybody started and everything else is fairly intuitive as far as the interface because you're um, uh, most of you are probably used to working in environments in a word processing environment Okay, thank you for your time.